This video is sponsored by Pythas Sight. This is a 20 inch diameter metal and wood wall clock. The opportunity to talk about this guy floated into my DMs a little while ago, and my first reaction was how does a massive rustic clock fit into my aesthetic? But I thought about it for a bit, noted the design is quite minimal, and ultimately decided to just do something a little out of my wheelhouse. So today, I'm unboxing, assembling, and briefly reviewing this widebody clock. So upon getting the package in, I got to work unboxing it and assembling the very manageable amount of separate pieces. Everything was very straightforward with the exception of the two pairs of hands. There was a pair of metal hands in the box in addition to the two wood ones I was expecting, so after a bit too much thinking, I realized the metal ones were just extra and put the wood ones on the face of the clock. You're not supposed to manually move the hands, so I popped them on as close to noon as possible and gently nudged them to be perfectly straight up. After that, I screwed the top mount into the frame of the clock. and hook the pendulum onto the back to bring the clock to its final form. For power, the clock needs two AA batteries, but the instructions emphasize those need to be carbon batteries, not alkaline, to not damage the movement. I couldn't find carbon batteries, so I grabbed two alkaline AA's from other household items to get the clock up and running. Apparently, it's too much current you're trying to avoid, so slightly used alkalines will be okay here. To set the clock, you use the wheel on the back to get this quartz movement tuned to your local time. And now we can observe the Pythasite metal and walnut wall clock in all its glory. I think the overall footprint is very nice from the swinging pendulum to the wide metal outer ring to the face without numerals. It all comes together in a modern, minimal design that's still somewhat rustic. I was actually surprised at how decent the clock looked in the alcove space here, where I thought it'd stick out like a sore thumb. In actuality, it kinda works and adds more materials and texture for the colored lights to bounce off of. It's also weirdly nice to have a bit of movement from the pendulum in the corner of your eye while you work or study. The slight visual stimulation is all you're getting from this clock though, as it has no tick and is completely silent. And as for the environments you could put this clock in, the Amazon listing suggests an entryway, office, corridor, kitchen, living room, dining room, or bedroom. I'll definitely take them up on one of those suggestions eventually and put this guy in a space it blends more seamlessly into. But that about wraps up my unboxing, assembly, and review of this Pythasite wall clock. I hope this gave you a bit of fresh air for my regular content, and if you're looking for a clock of this variety, the link is in the description. Subscribe for more quality tech videos, and I'll see you soon.